Hi guys, this is Orchid. So today I'm working on two thrift store finds, furniture pieces, this beautiful chest of drawer, really good quality pieces. There is also the matching sideboard. This is solid wood with the ducktail um, joints. So well worth the effort we're going to put into it. It does have a veneer. When you are going to buy thrift store furniture, my advice to you is to Pick something that has some unique feature. If you're going to put all that work into giving something a second life, it must be well worth your effort, guys. Make sure it's good quality too in terms of the construction. Um, love, love, love this piece. I think they were about $50, $60 um, for each piece. Really solid in excellent condition. Of course, there are some nicks and bumps, which I suspect happened during the uh, transport. But otherwise, this piece is in excellent condition. Now, there are two ways we can go about preparing this for painting. You can go the route of using a liquid um, deglosser, or you can go the route of sanding. With these two pieces, I ended up having to do both. I generally use a liquid deglosser if it's the winter and I can't get to be outdoors to do the sanding um, but for the most part I personally prefer sanding it goes by so quickly so this is the liquid deglosser that I'm using I picked this up at Lowe's and you basically just put it onto a rag and just get to working that is the problem it is work because you are basically rubbing off whatever grease dirt grime and that um, sheen, that um, that transparent glass that they generally put on the veneer of the furniture. So it does, it takes a little effort, which is why I prefer sanding. Sanding, I'm just pushing a sander back and forth. Now this, these are the after I've done, and I did get a lot of dirt and grime off of them. As with thrift store finds you are gonna have little damage here and there sometimes and here in this case I'll just use some wood glue for the sanding I generally start with a lower grit sandpaper so here I'm using 80 for the first go over and then for the second time I go with a higher um, grit which is a which is finer um, which is gonna make it even smoother once you're done and I, this took me no time guys, which is why I so much prefer sanding. With the sander, I, that is. Now make sure you are sanding in, um, in the direction of the wood grain. Because even though you're going to paint and cover it, you want it to look, you know, smooth. In the areas that I had the veneer lifting, I would simply glue that on with some wood glue and once it's dried, I just sand it down. On the side here, I had some other issues as well. I don't know what this was, but it's a little raised, so the deglosser would not work here. So in the case of this, these two pieces, I had to do both. I had to use um, the electric sander as well as the deglosser. There are areas on the furniture where it's going to be hard for your sander to get to, so it both works. Now, I should really be using a tack cloth to clean this up and get rid of all that dust. I didn't have any, so I just used my vacuum, and I did a lot of wiping. She chose the bare midnight hour in this type of paint, which I have never used before, but I have to say this was really great paint to work with. I generally use a sponge roller to paint furniture, and this paint only required two coats. It was very pigmented. It dried very quickly, very easy to work with. For the um, detailed area, I had to use a very small paintbrush to get into the grooves.
she chose these um, pearls and they look actually really great on this piece. Here is the chest of drawer, guys. I mean, I have to say this turned out really good. I love the look. I, I think the pearls were perfect for the piece. And you see how the detailing, um, that detail makes the piece stand out. If it were just plain drawer fronts, it would not look as great, I think. I think she picked an absolutely beautiful color and absolutely gorgeous pearls. And that's what made this piece what it is today. So thrift store is another route to go, guys, when you are working with a small budget and you're willing to do the work that it takes. And this actually wasn't really hard with the electric sander. What was hard for me, it was a very hot day. That was the hardest thing for me. The chest and drawer also turned out very um, well too. Here it is. I think I have a few spots that I probably need to just touch up. But overall, I think um, this was really worth the effort, time, and money. As usual, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.